Yesterday, the Region 6 Health Services received over $60 million worth of medical equipment and supplies as a donation from Food for the Poor Guyana Incorporated. More details in this support. $60 million worth of medical supplies were handed over to the Region 6 Health Services yesterday by Food for the Poor Guyana Incorporated, a move which confirms that the Regional Health Services and Food for the Poor Incorporated are working together towards improving the quality of health care delivery in the region. The donation exercise was done in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Communities and took place at the Regional Health Services compound. Among the regional executives that were present at the ceremony were Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan, Regional Executive Officer Mistress Kim Williams Stephen, Regional Director of Health Services Mr. Javon Stevens, B Division Commander Ian Amsterdam, and CEO of the New Amsterdam Hospital Mr. Colin Bino. Minister of Health Honorable Valda Lawrence, due to unforeseen circumstances, was not in attendance. However, she was aptly represented by her ministerial advisor and member of parliament, Mr. John Adams, and Ms. Carolyn Hicks, technical consultant to the minister. Doctors, nurses, and other medical staff from the various regional hospitals and health centers were also present. The first speaker to address the audience was Mr. Alex Foster, Focal Point Coordinator, Ministry of Public Health, who spoke on behalf of Food for the Poor Guyan Incorporated in the absence of the organization's senior manager, Mr. Jamil Davis. Food for the Poor is happy to be associated with today's donation to the health sector in Burbies. And I must say that today donation is one of several that already took place for the year. And I would like to announce that there will be several other donations that are going to be taking place for the rest of the year. Regional Director of Health Services, Mr. Javon Stevens, then spoke saying, Here at Regional Health Service, we have a mission. Our mission is to ensure that health care is equally accessible to all and sundry in this region. Over the past 18 months, we have witnessed an increase in the number of persons accessing health care in East Burbies County. Mr. John Adams, this is a gentle reminder that persons are gravitating back towards the public health system in this part of Guyana. Mr. Stevens, during his remarks, listed a few of the items that were donated. Baby warmers, incubators, microscopes, ventilators, examination couch, x-ray machine, beds, syringes, air conditioning units, water dispensers, pediatric scales, over-the-counter drugs, just to name a few. Also among the presentations is some wheelchairs, about seven in number. Regional Executive Officer Mistress Kim Williams Stephen then revealed You were told that the amount of the distribution here this morning is $60 million. And so we need to express our sincere gratitude to Food for the Poor for making a contribution to this or a major contribution to this distribution today. I am happy to report that the amount of contribution monetary that is being done by the regional administration today is 22 plus million dollars. Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan in his brief remarks said, Food for the poor and the regional health services giving to the health services in this region over $60 million worth of medical supplies and equipment which will be used in the service to the people of this region. No doubt you're all aware that from time to time there has been shortages of drugs and medical equipment in our system. And that's not new, that um, has been there for many, many years. From time to time 
you will find that there are shortages. But I know that there are attempts uh, by the minister when she was here last month to try and see what she can do to ensure that the system is improved. And today's donation by Food for the Poor is very timely and it certainly is going to contribute significantly towards that effort. Ministerial Representative Mr. John Adams, in the introductory remarks of his feature address, thanked Food for the Poor Guyana Incorporated for collaborating with the ministry to make the massive donation. First of all, it is express gratitude to the Food for the Poor for the generous contribution. It is always important to have partners, and Food for the Poor Guyana Limited Incorporated rather has been a partner for a long for over 25 years in Guyana. And with Mr. Alex Foster in tow now, in the health sector region number six, I am positive that this is just the beginning of what you will get from Food for the Poor. He further cautioned the recipients of the items. And let me say to the director of the health services and to the CEO and to all those persons who are going to collect these items this morning, you are being held accountable for them. Despite the fact that some of the donations, they were given so that we can deliver better health care in the region, it must not go to anybody's homes. <laughs> Don't get admitted to anybody's private pharmacy. A formal handing over ceremony was then performed. A similar batch of items were being simultaneously taken to the Sunny Hospital and Linden. Food for the Poor has given their commitment to continue making similar donations in the near future. The organization has been involved in charitable work with the Ministry of Health for over 25 years and has made countless similar donations in the past. Sasha Ramsevan reporting for Channel 8 News.